Welcome back. The University of Cape Town reported yesterday that a group of individuals uh, who are neither employees nor students disrupted exams at the upper campus. The university condemned these actions in the strongest possible terms. It also assured those on campus that uh, campus protection officers would be working to secure all exam venues on its upper campus. The university spokesperson Elijah Muholola joins us now for an update on the situation. Elijah, good evening. Thank you very much for your time. Still unclear, uh, why were the exams disrupted? Good evening, Tabo, and to the viewers. Uh, it is one of the things that we're currently trying to work on, especially as you have noted that the disruptors are a group that is not associated with the university, either as students or as staff members. So we are trying to work on establishing exactly why this course of action was what they opted for because in any case even before any protest action if there was any form of grievance or unsatisfactory unsatisfaction from this group they would have been different other means of engagement than to engage in something so disruptive to you know the hundred of students who said so at this stage we haven't necessarily formally been notified or made aware what the grievance of this group is but i mean over the next few days uh it will uh the matter has as you have become aware it has become uh subject to legal proceedings and that's probably where we will start you know getting a, a bit of more clarity in so far as what the grievance is did the campus protection services uh, drop the ball here why were they not acting uh, uh on, on on the disruptors Ordinarily, one table would have rightfully expected that we, we would have had uh, maybe a better response, but there could be several factors that could have contributed to the situation as it unfolded, one of them being that it was completely unexpected. So we are looking at uh, uh, having a bit of a, uh, an investigation, if, if that's, that, that's the way, an investigation into really what went down. We are aware of a number of videos that were circulated uh, not really looking very good, uh, both in terms of the response from campus protection services, but as well as just the impact uh, of the protesters on the students, as well as the staff that were at the venues. So we are going to be looking at those uh, 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 reports and trying to come to a situation where we could determine how better uh, campus protection services could have responded. And of course, we've learned immediately in so far as how then can we secure our venues better, which is why day to today of the exams we haven't had any incident yeah so you're saying these uh, uh, individuals involved in this are not students nor neither their employees how, how do they gain access to the campus was there a breach in, in, in security so one of the unfortunate uh, uh, situations with regards to UCT is that it's unfortunately an open campus, meaning ordinarily any person can come in and out of the campus itself without necessarily us knowing whether you have ill intent or not. It would have been a little bit of a better managed situation if we were a closed access campus where even from the point of entry you use your student card or your staff card. But unfortunately, as it stands, we are not necessarily fenced off we do not have uh, uh, close access points where you have to be checked anyone can really walk in uh, so unfortunately that worked against us yesterday in that this group could gain access uh, under whatever pretenses that they probably gave to campus protection but generally speaking unfortunately our uh, weakness is that UCT all our campuses are open access Okay. Now, in terms of the interventions then uh, that you're saying you're putting in place uh, from now on, what is the Campus Protection Services or, uh, offering as security? So we have strengthened a number of areas without necessarily going into the details because obviously with security, once you start uh, giving the detail of how you have strengthened, you are probably planting an idea with somebody else who might be planning something similar or even with the same group but uh, suffice to say we have strengthened our security in terms of things such as the personnel deployed in terms of just the vigilance in terms of just you know reporting instantly anything that might be appearing out of the ordinary just to make sure that you know we have a swifter response than we did yesterday we have learned a lot our campus protection services management has learned a lot from yesterday knowing that we could uh, 
expect in a sense the unexpected and yeah we feel like we are in a better position and uh, probably the proceedings today would be illustrative of how better prepared campus protection services have been now now as, as far as the stress and the anxiety caused to those who were writing i mean what what is uh, management doing then to engage that particular aspect of things yeah, I think that is actually one of the biggest worry for us out of this. You know, you could have a protest, which is legitimate. You could raise issues. But the first thing that worried us is that exams, by their very nature, are a stressful period. You look at a student who has spent their weekend studying and to be put under such a stressful period, so unnecessarily so, was one of the worries that we look into. I mean, the practical implications are really dire for some students. There are students who would have sat for their last paper yesterday and would have booked flights or transportation home today. So we have activated a number of uh, support across various levels such as for instance in terms of uh, our student wellness services availing themselves to just support those students but also we are looking at various implications and various scenarios are they for instance some of the assessments that have to be rewritten from scratch or are they some of the assessments that can be marked as and when they were at the point of being disrupted so we are looking at the various options and various possibilities recognizing really that this is unnecessarily stress that has been caused to a group of students who have their right to sit in a conducive environment for exams disrupted in the manner that it happened yesterday